I am joined by the one and only Warren Spector, who of course is making Epic Mickey. And here at Comic-Con, we're seeing a new area. It's called Lonesome Manor. How would you best sort of describe this? Lonesome Manor is Wasteland's version of the Haunted Mansion. We took uh, elements from all of the Haunted Mansions at every theme park around the world and sort of jammed them all together into our own version of Haunted Mansion. This is where he encounters one of the big villains in the game, the Mad Doctor. So this is going to be the place where Mickey and the Mad Doctor go at it. <laughs> And we also saw a couple of those wonderful 2D levels that kind of bridge you from world to world. If you wouldn't mind talking about those. Oh, I'm totally psyched about the stuff we're showing here at Comic-Con. Uh, two new levels uh, that, that we've never shown before. One is based on a cartoon called Plutopia. It's from 1951, and it's totally surreal. People don't think about Disney in this way, but the animators back then, they made a cartoon that was all set in a dream that Pluto's having, a nightmare, actually. And then the other one is called Oh, What a Night, which is really, really forgotten. It's 1928 cartoon featuring Oswald. So we wanted to show a 2D level based on a cartoon that starred Oswald Lucky Rabbit, who we're just privileged to bring back to the Disney family with this game. For those who don't know, Oswald was actually the first character created by Disney who then moved on to Mickey Mouse after some, well, I believe it was originally for, for Universal. Yeah, Walt was distributing his cartoons to Universal, did a series of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit cartoons that were incredibly successful. And then a contract dispute happened Walt got fired. Which is almost un unbelievable knowing what his legacy is. I know! You've had the luxury of getting to go through all these wonderful old cartoons that may not be on the forefront of everyone's mind. What have you sort of discovered if, if there is some sort of unifying quality to Mickey Mouse over the ages? How would you describe it? Mischievous and enthusiastic. He doesn't always think before he leaves, and so he gets himself in trouble all the time, and then he has to get himself out of trouble. So I really wanted to capture that. I thought that was a great part for a cartoon character, for a game character. We also wanted to capture the, the joy of, of the theme parks. You take some of that dark side, take some of the theme parks, put them all together, mash them up, or like DJs, you know, taking things that don't belong together and coming up with something that's beautiful, I hope. No, uh, from, from what I've seen, it definitely is. Warren, thanks so much for your time. Oh, it was my pleasure. Yeah.